I can't tell you how excited I am about today. We're gonna shoot and teach you five fun tricks you can do in powder when you're out free riding. The perfect conditions to go out and practice these tricks is like today. You know, we have a bit of a firm base with some powder on top. That's gonna make it much easier to do some of these tricks. Even if powder may feel safe to crash in, it's also quite difficult to do some of these tricks. So, to the trick number one, the silly powder front roll. Take your hoodie on, that could be a good idea for this trick. The reason it's a good idea to actually practice the powder front roll is like, because when you drop and actually do a tomahawk, you can actually get the skis under your back straight after the tomahawk, and then you can just ride out. It's important that you tuck your head in, you know, maybe protect your head a little bit, and fold back the skis like this. All right, let's hit one. <laughs> All right, before you even think about doing a 180 drop, check out how to drop up there. Uh, you'll notice here when we do 180 drop, I'll be less picky about landing perpendicular to the landing. Meaning, if that's the landing, this is you, this would be perpendicular to the landing that you can land a little bit nose heavy on 180s, but just a little bit. This is to make the tails come out of the snow because it's easy that they sink down and you sort of backflip tomahawk. Not so cool. Another thing, I like to set up some rotation, but a bit too little for what I think I will need. And I use a bit of counter rotation to twist the feet around so I land perfect every time. Probably not every time. Where am I? I'm so full of myself, sorry about that. Anyway. Let's go and drop some stuff. All right, the switch revert. This is quite tricky depending on the snow conditions. It's definitely the easiest to learn when it's like a crusty base with some snow on top. But the key things here, you know, you start turning a switch turn and then in the beginning, I like to like try to get those noses up and then the tails down quickly. It's okay if you end up a little bit back seated, you can quickly stand up and no one's ever going to notice that you were a bit back seated. That is one way you can do it. And I think the best one. Um, I like to think also about leaning up the hill a lot. So much that I actually like to do a bit of a hand drag sometimes. That gives me a better balance and allows me to lean a lot up the hill without tipping over. All right, the slash. I'm not even sure if it's a trick or not, but who cares, it's sick. So to learn a good slash in the beginning, start practicing on a slope, start doing a turn, and then about halfway through the turn, do some counter rotation, that you twist the feet around, keep the chest pointing down the hill, and spray as much snow as you can. It's a good idea to start practicing to like cover one of these poles on the side of the slope, or a friend, if you're a bit of a rude guy. This is easy to do on the slope, but when you're free riding, you need to keep your feet a little bit closer together because one ski can sink in if it's a deep snow. Once you practice your slashing technique on the slope, I suggest that you start doing some turns in the backcountry and do the same thing there. Just slash as much as you can. It's so much fun. Once you've done that, I really suggest you start slashing some wind lips. This is when it gets really, 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 really really fun. Imagine that the wind lip that's bent nice like a, a wave. I imagine like I'm a surfer going up the lip, slash it real good. The same things apply, twist the feet more than the upper body and keep the upper body facing down the hill. I start out with not too much speed, on a pretty firm wind lip and then find a higher and steeper wind lip as you go. <laughs> All right, if you thought that the slash was really, 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 really fun, wait until you try some slash combos. Here are my favorite ones. I suggest you start practicing these ones on the slope too, even if I'm not showing it now. So, slash combo number one that I really like. Go up a wind lip, slash it, use the same technique, and then pull that slash around to switch. I suggest you practice this a couple of times. So slash, switch, ski out backwards. And then, you know, do the revert later on like we showed you. Next thing that's really dope is you do pretty much the same, but you can do it on top of a wind lip. You ride towards it, slash it, and then you take off sideways of the drop. 
a little bit sketchy, but very exciting and very cool thing. So mine wasn't that cool, but yours is probably going to be cooler. So slash it, look towards the landing, twist around and land it like any other 180 drop. Last slash combo, mm. slash the wind lip, same thing, slash it, rotate a bit, so you go off the switch. And then I lean quite a lot forwards, drag the hand in the ground, lean up the hill, the hand helps for balance, and then revert straight away to straight again. Mm. This is quite new school, but please, I would love to see more guys like you out in the backcountry playing around, having fun, doing fun stuff in the snow. I hope you enjoyed these five fun free riding tricks. Let us know in the comments what free ride tricks would you like me to show you next time. Bet you have some great ideas. If you want to learn more about how to ski powder, hacks, safety, we have a playlist of all our best free ride tutorials here. A big shout out to Scott, I'm so stoked to finally have an avalanche backpack that weighs hardly more than my normal backpack and I can use it two times. It's such a crazy thing, isn't it? It has another charging in it since it's electrical, but not on batteries, something else that's light. Crazy stuff. It's not very comfortable. Yeah, let's pack this together and go home. I want lunch.